Clean the surface and remove any grease, loose paint, oil, dust, curing agents and foreign material that may interfere with the adhesion of the project material. Use 26 gauge bonderized 2 inch by 4 inch drip edge metal flashing for the outer edge of the deck. It is a good idea to make cuts in a pie or pizza slice shape in the flashing for corner installation. Using a manufacturer's approved caulking, adhere the flashing into place. Overlap the flashing approximately 4 inches and use a manufacturer's approved polyurethane caulking underneath the flashing and on all exposed seams. Stagger nails every 3 to 4 inches along the flashing to flatten the metal. Install the outer edge flashing first, working your way to the deck to wall flashing. It is important to work from the outer edge to the wall to create a rolling effect for any water to roll away from the wall structure. For flashing installation on the deck to wall, use 4 inch by 4 inch sized bonderized flashing. Stagger nails and use at least 2 nails along any flashing overlaps. All areas of overlap where the flashing is over the deck and where the flashing overlaps must be caulked and smoothed. Areas of exposure risk must be minimized to ensure a long-lasting watertight surface. Remove any dust or loose debris from the plywood joints and seams. Apply the Life Deck Specialty Coatings 3 inch seam tape over the seams of the plywood and flatten. Apply the manufacturer's approved polyurethane caulking or 1577 FM texture coat over the seam tape. Then spread the material across the seam and seam tape to adhere the seam tape to the surface. Allow all areas to dry overnight before starting the next phase of application.